Right guys, welcome back to the show. Sorry about the video quality. It is nighttime here. Um, our clocks basically are kind of messed up. So yeah, around 4, 4.30 in the evening, it's already dark. I'm in traffic. I have another car's brake light in front of me. So yeah, it's gonna look a bit funny. But I wanted to talk about uh, what's happening in the market today because it's really, really crazy. And when I see this, I mean, it just says one thing to me, right? When you look at the market, I put the light on just uh, so you can get. Yeah, let's put this one on so it's more closer to me, so you can get some light at least. Um, one of the situations I see in this market right now is like yesterday, um, we dumped um, a lot, right, from eighteen and a half thousand dollars all the way to fifteen thousand five hundred and sixty-three dollars. That's a three thousand dollar drop, and then today we see um, just over two thousand dollar pump, right. So it's not like the $5,000 pumps ups and downs we're talking about, but it's good enough. One of the questions everybody might be asking is, is this the true bottom? And it could be, right? It could be. As long as we actually can create um, momentum to move back up again, and as long as we can break the previous, um, the, the candle that we invalidated, the 18,500. So by whatever miracle, if we can get back above the 18,000 and hold support, we're okay. If we don't, then we're just creating a, a lower high. So do understand where this is. I was really stressed yesterday. Um, in fact, today, all day, I didn't want to do anything. Um, a lot of, you know, it was quite stressful. I mean, you probably would have heard some of the videos that I did, very stressful. So um, yeah, I just kind of stayed in bed all day. Um, decided to come out, I'm gonna switch a live because I'm, I'm in traffic, guys. Um, yeah, I decided to, um, switch off some of the sorry not switch off i decided to just kind of stay in bed and i said like no i'm going to sleep so i, I just stayed in bed until like four in the evening uh, got up now had a bit of shower um had had some breakfast and uh, i'm leaving literally i just had breakfast now and i'm just leaving i thought okay look i can't stay home um i can't keep myself down because when i do this then i'm going to be surrounded by a lot of negative energy and it wasn't me being negative um i wasn't thinking negative it was just i was depressed right i was depressed I was depressed because uh, normally when I say something um, or I put something on a video or something, it's like carved in stone. I don't change my mind. And for this one time where I I drew the lines, right? I drew the lines, um, but I actually believed that it would never go down to those levels. Um, the probability was so low of it going there. And you can imagine, like, you know, nobody expected um, us to go to $15,500 level. Nobody expected that. So some of the bets that I've made, right, let's just put it this way, why I was depressed, right? Some of the bets I made um, were wrong and I've ended up losing money, right? If that makes sense. I've ended up losing a lot of money. So back to square one. Let's see what happens now. Let's see how we can basically move on with life and uh, continue. So now this is the news that I want to give you, right? So when I'm seeing situations like this, um, excuse me one second. <coughs> Sorry guys, it happens. Every time I, I have a shower, I, I start sneezing. I don't know why, don't ask me. Um, but I sneeze for about half an hour and then I'll be back to normal. It's just that I think the, the change of temperature basically, because I've had a warm shower, I'm outside in the cold right now, and then my car's got heat seats, so they're activated. My body's warming up faster than it should, but whatever. Anyway, so the current situation you've got is we had this massive, massive, severe dump. And you know, months later, weeks later, you will find many people talking about how that was the true bottom. And this could possibly be the true bottom, right? Um, you know, I'm not saying it is, but it could be because we still haven't seen what the market's going to do I'm not going to change my mind in a single day or make my mind up and say that's it. This is it. No, it's not going to happen, right? So But this could potentially be that uh, black swan event that we wanted and this could be the moment we start rallying up Of course for us to start seeing validation points, right for us to start seeing confirmations that yes, we're in a bull run we now have a long way to go, right? And when I'm talking a long way to go, we have to get above the 25K, for example. So that's a massive gap. We've got to close up an 11, sorry, $8,000 gap for us to um, say that, okay, that is a trend reversal. Because remember, this is a continuous pattern. We've, we've just invalidated, we got rejected. We didn't even go to the 21, uh, 25K. So that's a bit of a situation. The other situation is now that we're 
uh, we, we've gone to fifteen thousand dollar level, um, we have to get back to thirty five k, um, approximately thirty five k ish, for us to get back to the fifty k mark. Sorry, the fifty percent mark in order for us to say that this is a full on bull cycle, right? Because we have to invalidate the fifty percent mark. That's a long way, guys. That's a long way. I mean, we have to do a you know a hundred percent of one x from here. Um, or is it, uh, the price would be 2x, yeah, 1x from here um, to get to this. That's a 100% gain from here to get to, um, it was more than 100% actually, to get to the 35k. So these are a lot of, a lot of big numbers. Of course, anybody who bought now, uh, who is buying now, um, if we do get to that 35k, you just made 100%, right? So, you know, great profits for a lot of people. Um, this is how I'm treating it. I'm like, okay, look, cut my losses. Whatever's happened has happened. There's nothing I could do about that. What am I going to do? I'm going to cry about it? No. So end of the day, I'm going to reset back to square one, reset, get myself back together and uh, start all over again, right? Of course, anything that I'm holding, that's a different story, guys. So I'm not talking about any, any assets that I'm holding. My holding portfolio has been very strong. They're locked up, right? They're one way. My holding portfolio is one way. It only goes in, it doesn't come out, right? Because I've, I've created a structure which allows me to do this, right? And I maintain that. I've got strong will, so I maintain that. Um, but my liquid assets, um, yeah, so they're gone, right? So <laughs> they're gone, they're gone. What am I going to do about it? So situation now is that um, this could be it and uh, we could be at the beginning of the bull run so I could have been wrong by saying last week yes this is the beginning of the bull run however if you do remember I did say that I was expecting something big but I, I never expected it to go down I'll be honest with you right I'm being completely transparent I never expected it to go down I expected a 5k to 10k move up right you know because everything was looking bullish however there are some other things that I was mentioning to you guys past few weeks as well that um, USD could be collapsing and yesterday what I noticed was while BTC was dumping while everything the entire market was dumping um, US dollar was strong right US dollar was becoming stronger it was doing fantastic however um, I wake up today well just about half an hour ago 45 minutes ago I wake up and what I see is US dollar is now dumping so BTC is pumping US dollars dumping again is that a coincidence I don't think so so this could be it. Um, I know they're talking about bringing inflation down and whatnot and this and that and all sorts of other news as well. But for me, if I leave all of that aside, leave all the noise aside, all the FTX noise, everything, all the noise, right? Doesn't matter what it is, leave all the noise aside. I'm seeing that the market has recovered by 10 to 15% um, on some coins, even more on others. And uh, yeah, everybody's bullish. It's just the market's ready to move back up. In fact, I think we did a, a billion dollar pump um, today so in the whole day with uh, eight billion dollars came back to the market and I'm not talking about leverage or anything I'm talking about actual assets being rebought and pumped up prices pump right so so far everything looking good um, and this could definitely be the start of the new bull run and if it is then wow you know we were there we we saw it um, you know a lot of us are holding assets around that time I mean I've had a few auto buys activate so um, yeah, it's gonna be pretty awesome, pretty insane um, to see where it goes. Um, but just look at today's daily candle. I do have it in front of me, but as you can see, I'm driving, so I can't really show you, but I, I have on my car screen. So today's daily candle, have a look at that and you'll notice what I'm talking about. It is lower than yesterday's candle. Um, it hasn't uh, beaten that yet. So when it does, that's when things will be good. Other than that, I'm going on the motorway now. So guys, um, like, share, subscribe and I'll catch you on another one very soon. Adios, my amigos. It's been a pleasure. And, uh, you know, uh, just huddle tight. That's all I can say. Just huddle, huddle, huddle. Um, because things aren't over nothing is uh, becoming all of a sudden bullish or all of a sudden bearish right now we're still in that downtrend and that's what worries me that we're still in that downtrend trend has not been reversed um, as I was suspicious um, recently but shit happens what can we do sometimes our emotions take over and this particular time my emotion did take over um, I think I lost control a little bit so even though I'm very strong will you know um, I'm disciplined enough uh, not to have emotional attachments but I did have an emotional attachment and I apologize for that um, so if you watch it to the end guys uh, please let me know what you think below um, and uh, how you feel because I don't really know how you feel and uh, how, how has this whole thing been impacting you
you know, because I think it's, it's part of something bigger and I think the, the next moves we're going to see in crypto are going to be a lot bigger than whatever we've seen before. Um, that's just me. That's just me being the mega bull because I'm not going to be a basic bull anymore. I'm a mega bull right now. Um, and let's see where it goes. Question for me is obviously, do I have enough funds? Can I gather enough funds uh, from friends, family and wherever I can, right? Um, in order for me to buy as much as possible at these current discount prices. Because um, if I can't uh, buy enough in time, then technically for me, I will miss the bottom. You know, so I am doing my best. I've, I've been on the phone last night um, to a loads of bunch of people trying to see what I can capture, what I can get, so I can basically get back into the market and um, yeah, get myself back together. So other than that, like, share, subscribe. I'll catch you on another one very soon. Adios, me amigos.